Should I see a movie this weekend? Ah! This is as good as a movie can get, and it's so great that they're still making these kinds of movies. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the final episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. Uh, thank you all for watching. It's been, uh, it's been a tough couple of weeks for me. Um, uh, as soon as we wrap here, be honest with you guys, I am getting on my horse, as they say, and uh, heading to back to Jackson Hole, and um, we'll see if I ever come back, to be honest with you, because um, I really do miss it out there. I miss that clean air, and my bison jerky, and my friend, my new friends that I've made there, and simple living. I want to welcome my guest, Greg Turkington. We'll just hey guys. do our movies here real quick, and... Um, Dark Places, directed by Gills Packet Brenner. I don't know what that is. What is that? Gillis Packet Paquet. It looks like the word racket, like racket, but with a P. Gills Packet Brenner. Gillis. Paquet, is it French? Packet Brenner. Yeah, we'll have to live with that one. Starring Charles Theron, Chloe Grace Moritz, and Nicholas Hloot. A bunch of no names. I'm sick of looking at these movies that don't have people I know in them. Okay? Where the hell's Tom Hanks? Get Tom Hanks in there. Um, you gotta make more movies with Tom Hanks. He's in a lot of movies. He's not. A woman who survived the brutal killing of her family as a child. He's not in enough. Oh, there's only so many hours A woman who day. survived the brutal killing of her family as a child is forced to confront uh, the events of that day by a secret society obsessed with solving crimes. Um, I could not bear to watch this movie. Um, it was just too, there's too much ch kid stuff in it with having with babies and everything. I can't handle that right now. Can't handle that information. Okay? There's too much going on for me right now. I'm stacked. I'm up to my ears and shit. Everybody's giving me crap, wanting this and that from me. I cleared my, I, 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 I sleep good at night knowing that I did what I thought was right. Well, you sleep good at night because you haven't done anything. I'm the one that, the Ayaka comes knocking at my door, uh, crying her, 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 her eyes out, crying her eyes out because you won't show. let her into your place. And now she's sleeping on my couch and I've got a baby screaming and it's very hard to watch Well, I don't want to hear about that. I don't know why she's even here. She shouldn't have come over here. She doesn't have a student visa or anything like that. Well, because she, she wanted you to, to meet your child. I don't want to have anything to do with that. I told her exactly what to do with that kid nine months ago whenever that all thing went down. I told her exactly what to do with that. She didn't do it. That's her choice. That's a choice she lives with. But as far as I'm concerned, I have nothing to do with her. I'm going back on my motorcycle. I'm going back to Jackson Hole, and I'm going to see the, the people that I love out there. I don't love people here. I don't love them. All right? No, I'm not talking about it. You, you can be with her if you want. You can raise that child. Well, I'm not raising the child, but the child's at my house right now. I don't care you don't... where that child, that kid could be the bottom of the ocean for all I care. He's not mine. He looks just like you, so he's definitely uh, yours. I take no responsibility for that. The check was in the mail. What she did with that money is up to her. Well, it's she's been spending it on baby yeah, food, on hospital bills, and she's spending it on a flight for her and the baby to come out and right. see the baby's father. Well, so that's what she I got spent news it on. for you. And that's she's a better not an American way... citizen, and she does not have the rights that you and I have. And well, that, the baby's an American citizen no, because the baby, baby was, was born, born on foreign soil. Born from an American father. Wrong. I'll take the paternity test. Who knows whose baby that is? She's been sleeping around, I heard. No. This is not the, it should be off air anyways. Nobody cares about this stuff. Well, one thing um, that I care about is that when Ayaka came to my uh, apartment from your place, she takes out of her suitcase the movie list that I had lost, that I thought I had lost back last season, uh, so where I've been keeping my 500 movies and she's, 500... No, she didn't steal list. it. She found it, and you apparently had hidden it or something. I don't know if it's a prank or what it was, but since I had started a new count and I had gotten... At this point, I'm actually up to 200 mm. on the new count. The good news is, for the viewers, is now I can take the previous list and add that seamlessly because there was never a day where I skipped movies. Add that to it. All right, so nobody now cares we have about the, that list. So now... With the 200 movies that I had seen, I can add the original list of 127, which puts me at 327, which means 
uh, it's going to be in December that we reach number 500. So it's going to be this year. So that's very exciting. It's nice to uh, get these back because this is a lot of time I put into these and to have lost them was really upsetting. And uh, so right, I'll well, see everybody in December at the yeah. Guinness Book uh, induction ceremony. I won't be there. I'll be, uh, I'll be in uh, probably riding around on a motorcycle. And that's the end of On Cinema because I'm done with this. I, I can't do. I can't go and watch these movies and talk about this crap. It's it's a complete waste of my time. It's a waste of your time. I don't know what you're gonna do. You're probably gonna jump off a bridge without this show. But I'm out of here. I gotta clean up my life. I gotta get away from the people that are creating negativity in my life. And like that's yourself. What I'm doing right now. No, I'm a perfect person. The people around me are flawed and full of shit. So thank you guys and f make up your own minds about what movies you should watch. And what about Who the Green Inferno? The Green Inferno? Didn't see it. Don't care. It's crap. Eli Roth. It's a bunch of junk. More important things in life than movies. That's a fact. Yeah, like taking care of your baby. No, no. Well, no. anyway, it's a good movie. I'd give it five bags of popcorn. Um, yes, All right. Well, it's your dark. show now. Yeah, okay. you're you're the host of On Cinema, and thank you for for watching. Uh, get get the mug and the app so we can make some money back from all the money I spent on this goddamn show. And more Decker soon, we hope. Thank you guys.